All right, you're in the middle of your show. You're playing, uh, in this case it happens to be Q4, and you suddenly realise, oh, you know what, I just need to tweak something somewhere else and I need to kind of understand what I'm doing. Enter blind mode. Now, you'll see up here on the screen, we've got live and blind um, selections, all right? On the hardware, we likewise have buttons that say live and blind. So we can jump into blind mode and what will happen on the screen is that this section will turn a light grey to indicate that you're in blind mode. Now everything you do in blind mode does not go to the stage. Now uh, as we move around the various different cues and things like that, all right, what you will discover is that um, I can move around here and uh, change on the display what's going on. But if I actually move this yellow bar, this yellow bar just indicates to me what is actually happening on the stage. So if I do double click on something like that, I am actually affecting what's on the stage. So you do have to be a little bit careful. Likewise, hitting the go button advances the cue list on the stage. Now that's a really good thing. It means you can track what's happening on the stage, still run your show at the same time as editing Q6 for example. So here we go. I've selected 6. It's thrown up on the display over here what is happening in Q6. So I've decided, oh you know what, in Q6 I want 97 to go to full and I want to update that right now. So I've hit update and it does exactly the same things that it does in normal in the normal world of, of working live. So update delta Q6. I'm in tracking mode at the moment. You can tell up here it says tracking and down here it, um, it gives me the option to go Q only but I'm going to actually track this forward. So channel 91's gone to full. All right in this um, in this uh, blind mode. Now as we move forward you will see that channel 91 stays at full all the way through the current queue that is live out onto the stage and beyond. Okay, So that if I go out to live now you'll see that okay well 91 isn't actually at full yet but if I hit go it brings it in. And that's what blind mode's all about. Blind mode is all about the ability to modify subtly your show while it's actually running. Okay, in blind mode we can do things like go to 13 and go, all right, uh, let's click on a, a, a lamp here. Okay, I just clicked on 61 here and down here in the window it's told me, oh look, 61 is available from Q10 to Q18. That means it was last used in Q9. So, oh, that's cool. All right, no worries. I can use that there. So I'll uh, put that at, uh, let's just pick a level, and I can update that. And this time we'll just do it Q only and just sneak that little change in. And nobody's the wiser at in live land that you've actually just modified your show. Now, uh, blind mode is, is one of those things that, you do need to be a little bit careful of, just in terms of, of understanding um, exactly the data that you're putting in to, to the display. And some extra bits and pieces of information up here are, are worth understanding exactly what, what um, you're seeing. So for example, um, with the button here marked tracked, you can see the values that are tracked into this position. If I turn that off, what, the only thing I'll actually see are the values that are actually only recorded in this particular um, queue. All right? So just be aware that um, uh, that particular little box there, if you leave that unchecked uh, and you go out of blind and come back in again, it's going to hold that value. It's not going to reset back to um, show you exactly the tracked views of all of these things. So uh, just a little uh, uh, careful thing to, to watch out for, but uh, not terribly complex to actually use.